What is going on guys? Welcome to your 49th tutorial in the UDK and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called a gate. So in order to use a gate, as you can see I deleted that little delay. Go ahead and right click new action and under miscellaneous you're going to have this option called a gate. Make sure you don't choose the and gate. That's something a little bit different. Just go ahead and choose normal gate. Now what a gate is, it basically represents a real life gate so it usually goes in between an event and the action that you want to happen now by default most of the time you're going to be able to walk right through your gate and hit your action so for example whenever we touch that light switch it's going to go in the gate right out the gate and it's going to turn on that light so by default if we go ahead and X out of this right now and hit play from here we're going to go hit that light switch turn on the light just like normal so we're saying, all right, that's kind of a uh, useless. Why would they even have gate in there? Well, check it out. This gate also has the option of being closed. Now, if you look at this just like real life, and this is a path, if this gate is closed, whenever you touch this light switch right here and try to get to this action over here, if this gate is closed, you're never going to be able to get to this this action. So if you're saying, all right, so a gate can be open and allow it to pass through or closed and allow the event from ever hitting the action. So how do you close this gate? Well this gate and all gates have a variable called be open. Now if it's set to true then your information is just going to pass right through one side and out the other just like normal. However if this be open is set to false then that means your gate is closed. So true means your gates open and everything's just running fine false means the gate is closed and this event is never going to kick off this action so you're saying all right makes sense so how do you close this gate well there are a couple different ways that you can close this gate but the most common way is to put an auto close count and this means that your gate automatically co closes after it has been activated a certain number of times so let me go ahead and change this to two or something like that you can change it to three if you want or maybe even four or five if you're in that you know go ahead but anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and put two and what this means is basically this is what's gonna happen in my game the user is gonna hit the light switch and since this is the first time using the gate the lights gonna turn on just like normal the next time the user is gonna hit the light switch and since this is a second time using the gate the lights gonna turn on just like normal However, the third time the user tries to use the gate, it's going to say, uh-uh, my gate is closed now, so this light ain't turning on, Haas. So let me go ahead and X out of that, but before we do, you're going to see a problem. Right now, we have functionality to turn on the light, but we don't have the functionality to turn off the light, so that may look a little weird whenever we're playing our game. So go ahead and hit untouched and turn off and now X out of this and our game should work fine so go ahead and right click play from here and check it out first time I hit my switch one it's gonna work fine now back away now the second time I hit it two it's gonna work fine back away now the third time I hit it my gates closed so let me go ahead and hit this uh, -uh not working I'm not getting through that gate and that's why my final action of the light turning on never happens right here so that's basically the beauty of a gate and again this basically prevents things from happening multiple times for example if you only want the user to enter a certain room like three times or you only want an enemy to spawn uh, five times or something like that then this is what you would use a gate so I think that's all. I might as well go over these options real quick. Open opens the gate, close close the gates, and toggle toggles it open and closed. And again, the output is, you know, just like I said. I can't explain it any better. So that is the gate and in the next tutorial I'm probably gonna be going over some more common actions in Kismet. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to send me a thousand dollars on my donations button. So thank you guys and I'll I'll see you in the next video.